Today I got an actual Amazon custom return toy palette that I picked up from a local liquidator. So long story shortened up, I've got four of these boxes like this that originally came in two of those. If you watch my channel, you see me with those very large, long, big boxes. Uh, lengthwise, they're like four feet by big, you know. It's the ones that all the food, the groceries come in those big boxes. So anyway, originally, all these toys were in two of those big boxes. And on the way home from my liquidator, they got wet. It decided to rain. So when I got home, um, luckily... Um, Cardboard soaks up water pretty nicely and usually keeps the, con the contents pretty dry for a very small period of time. So when I got back to my house, those boxes were not in good shape, the, the brown boxes. So I transferred all two of the large boxes. I crammed them into these four smaller boxes. So these are factory, not factory, but they're not sealed by the, the liquidator. I had to repackage in order to bring everything into the house because the actual boxes that they're in were soaked. So, little backstory of why some of these boxes are gonna look kinda, kinda beat up is because I had to repackage all toys into these. So anyway, the original cost of this, MSRP, Amazon.com MSRP is $1,647. That's if everything was brand new, but it's not, this is custom returns. Some will be used, some will be damaged, some might have actually gotten wet on the way home. I don't think so, but you never know. Some could be brand new. So my cost, what I paid was $129. That included everything, taxes, fees, buyer premiums, everything that has to be paid, $129. So I got it for like, what, 8% or so? So hopefully this goes well, and let's do this. I don't need a knife for these unboxings because everything's repackaged. By me so here we go um, if I remember correctly there was quite a bit of baby stuff I know we don't like seeing baby stuff I don't like selling baby stuff it can be hard to sell but there's baby stuff in here but can't really help that so first item the animated flappy elephant you have seen this before on this channel press my feet to play oh it needs batteries no 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 it needs to pull tab to activate. So this actual thing is brand new with the actual activation tag still sticking out the back end of the elephant. And it sells new on Amazon for $29.99. So this, this condition, that's a good 20 bucks right there. And the original shipping box too. So that's awesome. So first item, 20 bucks. And start pulling some stuff out. This is a very crunched Halloween costume like a space space helmet and it is crunched it is mangled it is cracked this is trash so that stinks let's see twist locking adapters for kindy baby bottles yeah what I'm doing with all my baby stuff is um, I'm actually I've been saving some baby stuff back for a family member of mine who's having a baby Everything else I've been selling in bulk to people. I kind of have, have like a waiting list for baby mystery boxes. I, ha I have a line of people who are trying to buy them from me. So, you know, as I go down the list, I can create more baby boxes for other viewers who like to buy baby stuff. A little wooden school bus. Well, that's nice. I remember, yeah, babies first. Unbelievable soft baby. It is cuddly. Let's see how much this thing sell for. So the packaging on this, the actual cardboard box does look like it's it's seen some better days at the warehouse center. But I mean it's not that bad. Looks like it retails for $22.80. So $22.80. It's almost Christmas time. So I'm gonna try to get about 15 bucks for it. You know, of course, that does not include shipping costs or anything like that. That's just how much I'll try to get for it. 
And then I'm seeing two of these things. We've got two of the Philips Avent Baby Bottle Warmers. I get so many of those in at liquidations, it's freaking insane. Oh, here's another one of those flapping elephant baby ear things. This is the second one. This is in a different bag. This one's kind of like a brown color. You can kind of, you can kind of see it through the packaging. That was great, this one's kind of brown. That one was like what? Sold new for 30, 20, so like another like 20 or so bucks for that one. And we got Watch Your Mouth Throwdown Edition. Looks like a party game. Oh, that's that weird thing where you put this thing in your mouth and you and it's yeah no that's gross mm -mm. not for me not for me let's see then we got a Minnie Mouse backpack looks like it is not new it's been used but you know it's still it's a Minnie Mouse backpack you can get probably 10-15 bucks out of that last item box number one we've got Performance accessories for the Traxxas, um, like RC car. Let's see if I can actually pull this thing up by picture. See if I can get a little gauge on pricing on this. Some of the accessories for RC cars can go for some decent money. Oh, cool. $21.95. That's pretty much 20 bucks new. It's still factory sealed. So. I, I'd probably charge like 15 bucks for it. So that's, that's it for box number one. First one went pretty quickly. And let's do the second box. I'll be right back. Number two. Okay. So first thing on top, I got to pull this thing out because this is pretty cool. We've got a Suicide Squad Funko Rock Candy. Packaging on it is a little bit beat up. But the figurine's in there. The Enchantress is in there. It's actually, it is only available at GameStop, too. It's kind of interesting that, uh, probably, you know what, honestly, GameStop probably does sell through Amazon.com. Like, everybody does. Like, Nike did for the past few years. Nike just, was it a month ago or so-ish? They made a huge announcement that they will no longer sell on Amazon. Reason why is because of a lot of the... Customer return scams, the return rate's incredibly high, people returning you shoes, yeah, so Nike pulled out from Amazon, but uh, I'm sure GameStop probably sells on the website too, but that's probably good, you know, maybe as high as 10 bucks, 8 bucks, something like that. Hush, a portable white noise sound machine for the baby, but honestly, anybody could use this, adults could use this. It's nice to fall asleep to like a white noise machine. My wife does a lot. Or actually, she used to. Now she uses uh, this the essential oil humidifier thing that shoots the thing into the air. So like you hear this, psh, which is like a white noise, but actually a white noise machine. She does have a white noise machine, but I think now she just uses the essential oil humidifier thing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, probably good 10 bucks on that. And we have a very, very tiny little remote-controlled helicopter. Through the packaging, it does not look damaged. But a lot of times, though, with returned little, like, flying contraptions, people crash them, and then they return them to Amazon because they crashed them and broke a propeller or broke a motor in or something. But I had to try it out. But I think so small. Honestly, that's not very much money. We have a little, we have a bear brand is, oh, it's a Melissa and Doug bear. It's still new with tags too. It's a poly bag, which is kind of nice. It's kept it clean. Let me see if I can, there we go. It's got the original tag still attached to the bear's ear. Barcode is not covered up. Sells new for 11, actually no, it's, it's actually, it is a, it is a bunny. It's on sale right now for $11.49. It is a Melissa and Doug Burrow Bunny Rabbit Stuffed Animal. Looks like a bear, but no, it's a bunny. So, 10 bucks on that. Ray Shade for the baby stroller. Keep the sun off of the child and keep any rain off of the child. Cool. 
We got a Spider-Man, very small soccer ball. It's got a hole in it right here. So that's pretty much leaves the soccer ball as unusable. Can't air it up if there's a huge gaping hole in the side of the ball. So like that is gonna be trash. Oh, we got some Pokemon cards. 100 assorted Pokemon trading cards. 100 in there? There's like maybe 20 in there. So yeah, with the 100 assorted cards, I'm sure it's nothing but just a bunch of common Pokemons, not really worth much of anything. I know there was one time, it was several years back, I bought a liquidation palette. It was a couple years before I started uh, doing YouTube videos. I actually bought a liquidation lot and in the lot was the complete like original first series of, of Pokemon cards, foils and rares and everything. And uh, I sold that for a pretty good amount of money and it came in a liquidation palette. It was in like a Pokemon binder and everything. I'm not sure how it ended up in the liquidation. It must have been some kind of maybe like a collectible store that was selling on Amazon.com that either got suspended and their inventory got seized by Amazon or something happened, but it was the original Pokemon like first edition set that that was a nice palette find. That was a nice one. That was probably like four or five years ago, I bet. And then oh we have an inflatable costume of the Spongebob character, whatever his name is. No, it's not, actually it is Spongebob. Disregard, that's cool. An inflatable Halloween costume. Then we have, we got some Mickey Mouse banners for like birthday party. Okay. Need batteries, batteries are dead. Fridge Phonics Magnetic Letter Set. Good 10 bucks right there. Sick Bricks. You ever heard of Sick Bricks? I never have. Sick Bricks get sucked into the game. Max and Mitch scan battle. Never heard of this. Oh, we got a little baby Contigo bottle. We got a few small things coming out right now. We have like a squishy, like a little like quarter machine at the grocery store kind of ball a fidget spinner fidget spinner fidget spinner fidget spinner hopefully it's all it's a lot of fidget spinners we have glasses without lenses in them so that's kind of junk oh let me pull this thing out it's looking at me Monopoly Fallout Collector's Edition. This box is seen better days. That thing is really, really bad shape. So something like this, honestly, this will probably just get donated. It's it's pretty bad condition. Let's see, we've got a Lego minifigures. Still fighter seal package too. It's probably not worth a whole lot though. Another Lego minifigure package. Still, it's actually, it's still sealed too. We've got little necklaces. Disney fairies necklaces. Oh, Pokemon, right? Pokemon, yeah. Balloons for your birthday party. More of the Disney fairy necklaces. Bassinet sheets for crib, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah. A doggy scissors to trim your doggy plush fur. Fake fur down, I guess. If you want to give your stuffed animal a, a trim. Baby bottle holder. This little squishy fish. Little quarter machine thing. Then a storage bean bag, a toy storage bean bag. That's kind of cool. And two items left in this box. Oh, a thing is stampers and an LOL egg. That's already been opened up. So yeah, that's 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 gonna be trash. So 
That's it for box number two. Let's move on to the next one. Box number three. So, first two, not too bad. Nothing like hugely big earth shatter or anything like that, but decent stuff. Here we got a three pack brand new dual action multi use latches. Three pack. And we'll, I'm just kind of curious to see how much, probably like what, maybe like five bucks a piece or so, maybe six. Six bucks each, six seventeen. So three pack would be eighteen bucks. I'll try to get fifteen for all three. A suction cup. Oh, it has a. It tells time. And we've got some more door handle safety grip and twist things for small children. Two of those. We have a, a dog with no guts in it. it. Has a zipper on the back of it. Some kind of like a carrying pouch with an animal. Okay. Oh, we got stars. That's a good thing. We we got stars. LOL. Surprise Little Sister Series 3 pack. Oh, everything is already opened up too. So, somebody bought it had their kids open it up and then kept what's inside and returned the open bags to Amazon got the money back another scam let's see oh that's that's nice my sweet childhood memories that's really cute picture frame has pretty weight to it too that's neat bopper buddy oh no one of these things hush baby things $10 bill right there. Minecraft flying ghast. Some kind of a flying contraption. This thing, oh, okay. It literally, it does, it's like a, like a drone. It flies around like it's, it's a drone. You follow this thing around with these tentacle things coming off of this, this could freak some people out. Especially like at nighttime, if you put like some kind of lights in this thing and fly it around and you could freak some people out with that thing let's see what is this? build piper buildpiper.com this thing is all taped up i don't know what this thing is Just using the Amazon Sellers app. Going by like a picture find. Did it find it? Nah, it, it pulled it up as a canvas tote bag and a trifold vegan wallet. Okay. Let me do a little search real fast. So it appears this is, I was totally off on this. I just did a search for Piper, buildpiper.com. And it looks like this is actually, it is a Piper computer kit. It has on the inside, you have like these electrodes. You can like test like STEM learning and it retails on Amazon for $1.99. Um, Hopefully all the parts and pieces are there because it looks like in the picture it's got a lot of small little components to it, little things. It's probably going to be missing pieces. So hopefully I can get maybe at least like a quarter of the price for it, maybe at least like 50 bucks. It, possibly if I part this thing out, maybe as high as 100, maybe. But I'm going to have to go through this thing later, go through pieces and see how complete it is. But it's a nice item. Oh, nice. I've actually sold this a few times. The DXR. I think I sold it for like 80 bucks used, I think it was. It was a nice item. Sold pretty quickly, actually. Didn't last very long. And that sells new for 165 Yeah, so if I sold it for 80 I sold it half price, you know, for used. But it, it sells, this thing sells new for 165 And 
looks like yeah it is used it has it has been used but very lightly doesn't look like it's been like used and abused or anything but yeah so this will be another about 80 bucks or so the same price as i sold the first one for that that i had looks looks complete all the cords are there manual and everything so that is very nice so yep it's a good item right there so i know as of right now i'm uh i'm already in profit Lots of lots of good good stuff though, and I'm in profit, so that is awesome. Kitty Zoom camera picks V Tech little kid camera in an Amazon frustration free packaging, still sealed. I sell these things for like 10, 10 bucks or so. Mini Machine five pack. Oh, it's little little like uh, cat bulldozer toy stuff, stuff like that. Neat little item, but it doesn't sell very much. Baby Air Smart Wi-Fi Air Quality Monitor in Ion Purifier. Could be a decent item. Now this thing sells on Amazon new for $13.98. It looks a lot more high-tech and expensive than what it actually is. Sells new for $13. Bucks. Uh Use condition, yeah, no, so, yeah, that totally tricked me on value on that thing. I thought it was maybe like 30, 50 bucks, maybe, but no, it is not. Oh, that thing is really, really used. It's a bubble machine and it's got mold on the inside of it, so that that's no good. We'll just call that one trash. Last item, box number three. It's a nice one. Spaceship Laser Tag Discovery Kids. Infrared Blaster Game. Good item. That's probably good. 15, 20 bucks, I bet. So that's it for box number three. There is one box remaining, so let's get to that one. Final box. Here we go. So box three is actually the best box so far. Got some pretty solid items in box three. A couple items with pretty decent value to them. So yeah, three was fantastic. Fantastic box. But yes, I did rebox these from the original box because I said the boxes got wet. So, and uh, I actually reboxed these a few weeks ago. They've, they've actually sat in the corner here in my office for a few weeks, and I'm just not getting around to it. So, half these things I actually forgot what was even in these boxes. You know, after I repacked them, I I didn't even remember what was in half these boxes. So, that's kind of fun though. When I forget, we got a a V Tech dump truck batteries. Yep, it works. Good 15 bucks right there. We got a Dr. Brown's bottle warmer. This is actually a little bit more expensive one, the Deluxe Bottle bottle Warmer. So that one's like 20 bucks if it works. Then we got, oh, it looks like little baby clothes here, yep. Yeah. Little baby clothes. Package of those. We got several big items left in this box. We have, oh, we got a Porg. Action Porg with original movie sounds. And he needs batteries. Oh, maybe switch them on. Nope, he needs batteries. So we got the Porg here. Porg stuff is no longer popular. Nobody wants it, but I got a Porg. Let's see. Then I've got, oh, the Follow Me Fred dog toy. That's cool. For the children. Has kind of a leash on everything. Good item. Then we got one of the metal S107G's little uh, gyroscope copters. Good seller. I used to get these a lot in uh, liquidation pallets. I mean, I used to get a lot of them. I was selling these things for 15 bucks a piece. And I sold these things faster than what I could get my hands on them. So, very rarely now do I get these any more in pallets. But whenever I do, they they go like that. Very, very good selling item. So, two very large things left in this, in this uh, last box. We got the Nebula 3-channel helicopter, omnidirectional, crash-proof. Five bucks says, though, if you try hard enough, you could crash this thing and damage it. Oh, yeah. So, I'm guessing the remote is in the bottom part of the box. The upper thing is kind of like a, uh, 
a drone in like a sphere so whenever it crashes it crashes on the sphere but you crash hard enough you'll break something inside that thing oh yeah you can still break it oh we got two things left not one fidget spinners a whole box of three fidget spinners so god i love the fidget spinners last thing in total, we got the Little Tykes RC Flyer. Probably it's been crashed. Oh, it is kind of formed a little bit. Yeah, it, it is kind of formed, so. Last item in that box. So, that is it for this, uh, well, two box huge, that became four box palette. Not too bad. I paid 129 bucks for all this stuff, and I'll make quite a bit of money over what I paid, so this will be a profitable palette. And it is Christmas time, so toys like this will sell very quickly. This is the best time of year if you're a reseller for toys. So, hope you enjoyed this palette, and I'll see you next time with some more goodies. I'm out.